Interactive Charting application allows you to create flexible charts depicting a range of company and non-company data. You can find the application on the top of your toolbar or by making a search with the FactSet toolbar up at the top. When you load the application, you'll be displayed with the following screen. Along the left, you have four drop-down menu topics. The first is Charts. This is where you can access any previous saved charts or find FactSet's pre-created ones. The pre-created charts include fixed income, yield curves, and government bonds. Any charts you create yourself in the application can be saved and used as a template for any other tickers in the future. These will all be found under this tab. Next is the Plot Options tab. Here is where you will add any series and further plots to your chart. On the chart displayed on my screen is for Apple share price and its volume. The top here is Plot 1 and below is Plot 2. You can add or remove plots all under this tab with the green plus icon found here. The series is the information displayed on the plot. I can add a new series by selecting the green plus icon found here, labelled Series. This will display as a new series on the plot of my choice. The Drawing tab allows you to add trend lines, arrows, text boxes and many more. This tab will allow you to make a whole addition of edits to your charts on how they display the data. The Charts Labels tab will allow you to create labels to aid you when building chart templates. For many interactive charts created, most will contain chart labels by default. The labels greatly increase the readability of your charts for other users. At the top, you'll find the Chart Toolbars, which allow you to quickly add a new series change the frequency of when the chart updates the series, the time period range of the data, the currency, further chart options for extra customization, as well as the option to save, open, and create a new chart.